Up to this point in the process, we've prepared a model and applied textures to walls and other objects. And then we placed entourage in the scene, and that includes trees, people, and, and a car. And now we can render the scene, and after we render the scene, we can either print it directly or we can export it for use with other programs. Until now, we've worked entirely in design layers, but for this exercise, we'll be working with a sheet layer viewport showing a saved perspective view. So let's open the Vectorworks file for this exercise, building new export image, and the file already has a sheet layer viewport prepared, and you can find it by going to saved view three. Now, what you see here is a viewport containing a wireframe view of the scene based on a saved view that we developed in the design layer earlier. As far as lighting goes, the design layer already contains a heliodon object representing the sun, so we only need to render the viewport with a RenderWorks style. A render style automatically includes light from the sky, so that's all we really need to complete the rendering. To do that, click on the viewport to select it, and in the Object Info palette, click on the Background Render drop-down box and then to render works style and then realistic exterior fast. We're using realistic exterior fast here so that we can see the rendering quickly but for the final rendering you can of course always use realistic exterior final. Now unlike a design layer a viewport will not start rendering automatically as soon as you choose a rendering method. Instead you have to update the viewport to get the rendering process started and you do this by clicking on the Update button in the Object Info palette right here. And now that the viewport has rendered, we'll export the image as an image file that can be used for various purposes, such as a web presentation or printed materials such as brochures, reports, or, or just simply large rendered images. Now you can export the image as a PDF, of course, but in this tutorial, we're focusing on image formats such as JPEG and TIFF, which are often used for web design and printed presentations. To export a, a rendered image, go to File, Export, Export Image File. And in the Export Image File dialog box, arrange the settings as they're shown right here. Beginning in the upper left side, in the Export area, you have several different options which are pretty much self-explanatory but let me just focus on a couple of specific options. Current view will export the sheet with the rendering exactly as it's shown on the screen so if you are zoomed out and include a lot of empty white area around the image that's exactly what the rendering will include. Marquee allows you to draw a fence or a marquee around the specific portions of the rendering that you want to include in the final exported image. And each page as separate image will export the area within the margins of the page and it's most often used when you're exporting an image from a viewport. If you have more than one page set up in your page setup settings it will export all the pages or, or actually to be more accurate the areas within the margins of all the pages as separate images. For this tutorial this is the selection that we're going to use. In the dimensions area, make sure lock aspect ratio is selected. This way, if you change the height of the exported image, for example, the width will adjust automatically to the correct dimension. And we'll come back to resolution in, in just a minute. Print size. Once you, you have selected each page as a separate image, which we talked about a minute ago, you can leave print size alone since it will automatically reflect the size of the image which is based on the size of the sheet that you're using. In this case we're using an A4 sheet with margins that are shown in the viewport. Now let's select the format of the image that we're exporting. In the format area click on the file type drop down box and select a format. JPEG and PNG are good for viewing on monitors or for web design. TIFF is a good choice for printing and Photoshop will export a file in native Photoshop format. So if you're using Photoshop, Photoshop you don't need to convert it to a Photoshop format before you can work on it. Now once you are done selecting the export options, click on the Save button 
and the export as QuickTime image document opens and you can select a spot to save your image and a name for the image and then you can click the save button to finish exporting. Now let's go back for a minute to the export image file dialog box. File, export, export image file. Now under dimensions you can see a data field where you can change the resolution when certain formats are selected such as TIFF or, or JPEG. Generally it's best to have the resolution here match the resolution of your sheet layer viewport more or less. So if your sheet layer resolution is at 300 dpi then it's best to have the export image file resolution at 300 ppi and the same applies for 72 ppi the way we have it here. They should both match. Now here, here is what I mean. Let's take a quick close-up look at the viewport rendering and zoom in to see some of the detail. When you zoom in to about here, you can see that the image is blurry and some diagonal lines actually appear to have steps in them. That's because the sheet layer on which the viewport resides is currently, and by default, by the way, set to a low resolution of 72 dots per inch, which is good for viewing on a screen, but really too rough for most printing purposes. Printing normally needs a much higher resolution in order to preserve the sharpness and quality of the printed image. And for printing purposes, a resolution of 300 dots per inch is often a good setting. And, and here's a comparison at, at, a, at a different scale so that we can see this effect clearly. But still, here's a comparison of this viewport at 72 dots per inch and 300 dots per inch. So to increase the resolution of the sheet layer, you have to edit the sheet layer. And you can do that in the organization dialog box or via the navigation palette if it was installed with your specific Vectorworks package. So let's open the organization dialog box. Go to Tools, Organization, and then click in the Sheet Layers tab at the top of the dialog box. The renderings sheet layer will be highlighted, and if not, click to highlight it now. So click on the Edit button at the bottom of the window, and in the Edit Sheet Layers dialog box, change the DPI setting from 72 to 300. Now click OK to close this dialog box and click OK once more to close the organization dialog box. So now we're back in the sheet layer and you can see the viewport and you can see the candy stripe indicator around the edge of the viewport here which means that you have to update the viewport since we have changed the settings. So go to the object info palette and click on the update button. And the viewport will start re-rendering. But it will render much more slowly this time because it has to calculate and display a much larger number of dots on the screen. Remember we changed from 72 to 300. So just keep in mind that for screen viewing you can use a low DPI figure for the sheet layer such as 72 but for printing, you need a, a higher number, even though it can take a lot longer to render. OK, let's stop the rendering. And let's change the resolution back to 72 dpi for now. Click on the Layers button up here to open up the Organization dialog box. And then in the Organization dialog box, click on the Edit button. And in the Edit Sheet Layers dialog box, change the DPI back to 72. And now let's update the viewport again in the Object Info palette. And once that's done, we will export the image. So let's go to File export image file. So now under dimensions, adjust the resolution to match the resolution of the sheet layer. So if you set the sheet layer to 300 dpi, for example, set this one here to match that. You don't, you don't want the sheet layer to be at 300 dpi with all of that rendering time involved and then export at only 72 ppi and lose all the sharpness that you work so hard to achieve when you increase the resolution of the sheet layer. So they really need to match. Once you're done selecting the export options, click on the Save button. 
and the export as QuickTime image document opens and you can select a place to save your image and a name for the image and then you can click the save button to finish exporting.